What's up everybody? Welcome to Magic for Beginners. My name is Keith and in today's video we're going to be doing a series of these I think and it's going to be looking at my playing cards. As you can see from the thumbnail this is where I keep my playing cards in. These go on the wall and these are actually IKEA spice racks. So if you're looking for a cheap easy solution to hold your playing cards on the wall and display them this is definitely one for that. And in each rack you can hold about 20 playing cards so it's a decent amount and you keep them all together. And in this video we're going to look at the first 20 playing cards that I've got in one of these racks. So the cards in this rack are mainly Chris Ramsey, Wes Barker, some Peter McKinnon and stuff like that from when Chris and Peter used to work for Illusionist. So we've got some Knights and Kings, other things like that. So this is the first set. So up first we have the first, V1. These are the very first cards that uh, Chris Ramsey released. As you can see here the nice white design with the gold borders and stuff on. And again sort of, then you have the Jokers there and the custom Ace of Spades. And the thing with these, they're still quite rare and they still go for quite a lot on eBay as well. I think uh, some of them are going for like 50, 60 pounds for decks of cards. So yeah, if you want to grab a deck of those, then that's the sort of money that you're going to pay for them. I got into Magic just after he released these. I think it was when he released the V2 set. So I missed out on these originally, but then I bought them for quite cheap on eBay. I think it was only 30 pound I paid at the time. So yeah, it's a nice deck of cards, nice little, nice little bargain I got as well. So that's the first deck. Next deck is the first V2. And these were the first Chris Ramsey playing cards that I had bought as well. Um, when I got them, they were delivered directly to UK. I know there's been some issues with when we come out of Brexit that so you couldn't deliver them, but now it's back. Yeah, these are nice. So these go for the, the black version over the white and still got the gold borders. And as you can see, they're uh, really well used. When I first got into Magic and was watching videos on YouTube and stuff like that, these are all that I used to use. So I know some people don't like playing with playing cards, especially when you buy them and they're supposed to be rare in the future and stuff like that. But I don't see the point. It's like if you get playing cards, then you're supposed to play with them, really. There is some that I've got um, sort of their sales, but it's a lot of them that I have two of them so I open one have one sealed so I've always got another deck should I need it if anything goes wrong with these and that's the first V2. Up next is the first V3 and these are a floral style design as you can see here and it's still got the uh, the gold border going all the way around with the, the floral style on it there and again um, when I got these I actually got a brick of them so I got the brick box to go with it and with the brick you also got the uh, the signed deck as well, so I've got that up on display. That's on the shelving rather than with the playing cards, so that's just for display purposes really. So yeah, again with uh, USPCC, they're all printed on that, so really nice to handle, really nice cards to play with. And that is the first V3. Up next we have the first V4, and this is the black one and the white one. So they released the, the two different versions of this and I had to get both of them. So we will get them out first. See there, nice little uh, gaff card, which has got the Queen of Hearts and Four of Spades together, and the Joker. As you see here, the uh, the backs of them has the first logo, but it's like uh, a white background with the black text, and that goes on like that. Just put them there, and the white one, as you can see, still got the same gaff card, but the white one has the white background with red text. So yeah. It's a nice, uh, nice little deck, both of them. Hadn't really played around with these as much as I should have, really, because as you can see, they're sort of in the same setup as they come with. But uh, yeah, just to, to complete the collection with it, I got them both. Up next is the first V5. So these are very similar to the uh, the first V1 decks. So with the lighter color, with the gold going all the way around. And again, the uh, custom Ace of Spades and made by USPCC. So again, got this to complete the collection and it's nice, it's a, it's a matte tuck box and it's a really nice grey colour. So you have the, the white, the black and now you've got the, the light grey. Up next we have the first V5 Hollow Edition. So this is a, a super great deck to have. Um, this is like the previous deck which I've just shown which is the, uh, the V5 so it's similar to the V1 with the gold. However, this one is uh, holographic. I don't know if I can pick up on this camera. 
as you can see there, shimmering in the light, it's a holographic deck. So again with it being a holographic deck, the uh, the cards handle slightly different, they're more like a plasticky feeling, but uh, I think they just look really, really nice. You get that really nice shimmer on the uh, the holographic on it. So yeah, that's the uh, the V5 holo deck. Up next we have the Vectec playing cards that came with the uh, Escape Room game. So these are a nice deck. I think they've, they've actually just been released on Chris's website as a standalone deck. So if you don't want to buy the escape room, then you can just buy the cards on their own as well. So that's a really nice addition. It's really interesting back design. So obviously, whichever way you can have that. USB-CC again, so handle great. Just, yeah, great cards. Up next, we have these bicycle first playing cards. These aren't opened yet because I need to open them, have a mess around with them and do a review with them. But uh, yeah, it's the bicycle and first collaboration decks. So you get the, the red one, the black one, and the blue one. The red and blue were first released together as one release, and then they came out with the black one after. So I had to get all three of them just to, to fill up the set. So yeah, these are the bicycle and first collaboration decks. Then lastly, from Chris Ramsey and the first decks, we have these. These are the black and red first edition. I do believe the, uh, the V6, and again, both by USPCC. So the backs of these cards have the same gold design going around the sides and it's got the first logo on there. Again, USB-CC, so handle really nice. And onto the red ones here, so just get these out. And these are the same. I think I prefer these red ones over the black ones because the, uh, they just stand out so much more. You can see there it's got the first logo again and all the gold going around. And standard faces. So yeah, that's the two V6, I believe, the uh, the black and red Chris Ramsey first playing cards. So yeah, that's next in the collection. After first comes second, and these are second to none. These are the Wes Barker playing cards, and again, very similar to uh, Chris's design. They have the Wes Barker logo, which used to be the, the first logo, and on here, he's gone for the green second around the edges. So yeah, that's them, and same as same as the first playing cards, made by USPCC, so handle fantastic. Just a really good deck. Then following one from the second to none V1, we have the second to none V2, which is the censored deck. And these are like a, um, a sensor tape, so you have here, and then up close, you don't know if you've got to see, you've got the second logo inside of the lines. And again, USPCC deck, so handle really, really nice. And it's uh, nice and vibrant as well, so really good deck. I've got a review of this deck coming soon as well, so keep an eye on the channel and this will be up. Also, I'm looking to do a, a full breakdown of all the Chris Ramsey playing cards which have released on first, so we've shown you all of them there. So I'll go through the release date and other things about them, so if there's anything special about them, if there's anything unique and stuff like that, I'm going to do a breakdown and do more a details thing of it so I'll get the macro lens on so you can see the card up close and things like that so if you're interested in that let me know in the comments as well. Now we're onto the piracy playing cards and these are the Pete and McKinnon playing cards and these are just fantastic. These are from Theory 11 and as you can see here it's like a, a nice gold embossed design on them and the same on the back as well. It's um, I think they use a, a process for like double double printing on it, so you print it with the blacks and then they print the gold after and it just pops out really really nice, it's just super nice. With all Theory 11 playing cards, they're all really really nice quality and the handle really nice and just fantastic card overall and again with all of the uh, the details on the, the playing cards, they come out really nice. There's a review on my channel of these, so if you want to take a, a more detailed look at them then you can have a look at that. And these are the Peter McKinnon Piracy playing cards. Up next we have the limited playing cards and these are the purple edition. I also have the blue and um, yeah, really, really nice. These were done by Illusionist and Peter McKinnon when he used to work for Illusionist. And really punchy, uh, really punchy card stock on it, so it's really nice. The backs of the cards have this like um, quite elegant design with the double bordered and then all of the shapes and things inside of there. So that's a really nice deck. And the faces, you have um, grey instead of black. You have grey instead of black and the red is red. And again with all here, you have the, um, the court cards as well. So they 
they're really nice and those are the limited playing cards by Peter McKinnon and Illusionist. You can see they have a little tough flap, there's the uh, Peter McKinnon signature. This deck is another Illusionist release as you can see here and this is from Peter McKinnon and Daniel Madison. So these are sort of in with the Peter McKinnon playing card rather than Daniel Madison because I've got that many different Daniel Madison ones which we'll look over. Now these are a really really nice deck. It's a nice red background with the King's logo on as such. As you can see there, so you've got the the axe and the sword and it's the same on both ways. And the nice jokers, so you have like the, uh, the axe and the sword on there. And again the colours are slightly darker red rather than the bright red. The blacks are really nice, you have your court cards. Really nice deck. Other colours and stuff released in the King's deck, so it's interesting to have them, but my favourite is these red ones. So then heading back to Chris Ramsey and Illusionist, we have this one with Chris Ramsey and Daniel Madison, and these are the Knights. So again, even with the uh, the tuck case, you can sort of see where the inspiration for the, the first playing cards came from, with the white and gold. I think it's a really, really classy. Same as the, uh, the White Artisans, it's one of my favourite decks of all time, that's the same again, white and gold. And as you can see here, these are white background with the gold logos, it's got all the chess pieces on here. And the fun thing about this deck as well is it's marked, so you won't be able to see any markings, however, this deck is actually marked, so when you're looking through the deck you'll be able to know different things about the cards, so really fantastic deck. And last but not least, on the first 20 playing cards of my collection, these are the Warrior cards by RJ. So these are a Carty Mundi set of cards, and um, RJ actually works for Illusionist, so sort of keeping all the, the Illusionist collaborations together. These were designed by Daniel Schneider and also released by RJ, so really nice. Got these from her at Blackpool last year, I believe it was. And there's a review on my channel if you want to see them up close and more details about them. But uh, as standard, you have it there, so you can see he's got the butterfly up and down and it's on a, a black background with a white border. Really, really nice, and they're done by Carter Mundy, so they feel slightly different to USPC standard playing cards, but still really nice, really punchy, really fantastic, so yeah. And also you get the Angle Z playing card in there as well, which is a really nice addition. So that's it for the first 20 playing cards. Um, got loads more in the collection, so we'll be going through those soon. If you're interested in watching them, leave a comment below. Let me know in the comments as well, which is your favorite deck of these 20. Until next time, see ya.